people said our children die can you do something about it so being a public health person we established a population based laboratory in 134 villages a demographic surveillance laboratory and we measured birth death child death determined the causes of child death i won't go in the details of methodology at the end of the first year in 102 villages where we measured vital statistics infant mortality rate was 121 this is year 1988 and the major causes of child mortality were pneumonia number 1 and newborn mortality was number 2 now antibiotic for pneumonia were discovered maybe 40 50 years earlier but they had still not reached where they were needed in the villages of gadchirli in villages of india how could antibiotic reach even more difficult was who would diagnose there were no doctors not likely to go to the villages of gadchirli or of in the rural india and a child an infant who has pneumonia is very miserable and the child if it doesn't receive therapy in 2 3 days child could go either way so how do you how do you diagnose and give antibiotic to the appropriate child it shouldn't be over diagnosis otherwise antibiotic resistance we all know respiratory counting respiratory rate is a very very good way frank shan was an australian pediatrician as a part of his internship he went to papua new guinea and did a wonderful piece of research i think i would suggest that everybody of you read it it was published in who bulletin 1985-86 in his opd he examined all the children with cough clinically and then also took x ray and then compared and based on that he found that counting respiratory rate in child with cough is a very good way fairly sensitive very good sensitivity and fair specificity to diagnose childhood pneumonia so we decided to use frank shan's method of counting respiratory rate but women in villages could not count we were working with traditional birth attendant at that time she is yashoda bai a tba traditional birth attendant from a village called bodli so for enabling traditional birth attendant make diagnosis of pneumonia and treat child because only they were available in villages we had nobody else so how could you train an illiterate woman to diagnose childhood pneumonia by by counting the respiratory rate so i had developed this breath counter you can see there is a sand timer 60 second sand timer and there is a abacus there are two rows one for the newborn baby or young infant one for the infant there are in the lower row for example you would see there are five beats Frank Shan had identified and later on WHO also recommended that if in an infant respiratory rate was more than 50 in a child with cough if respiratory rate was more than 50 it is most likely pneumonia this old woman can count up to 12 why 12 because of the british era of dozen everything was sold in the market by dozen so she knows about how to count up to 12 that's necessary for survival so this abacus doesn't require her to count more than 10 she turns the equipment starts counting respiratory rate for every 10 counted breaths she moves one bed if it is a neonate she would select the upper row if it is an infant she would select a lower row before the sand is passed that is one minute before the sand is passed if the red bead is moved it is pneumonia she doesn't have to know whether it is 54 or 44 she she can't count but if the red bead is moved before the sand has completely passed it is pneumonia i compared this we trained 10 tbas using this and 50 children with cough i used stethoscope and my diagnosis of childhood pneumonia or non pneumonia and tbas diagnosis using this breath counter their diagnosis was 82% cases it matched my diagnosis good enough for villages 
now we had a method that even though there was there were no doctors no stethoscope but still ordinary women could be taught and with that we started diagnosing and treating pneumonia with oral antibiotic now here you see about how many 15 years result this is little subsequent but even the initial years results were very same so before treatment was introduced the case fatality among children with cough and high respiratory rate presumably pneumonia case fatality rate was 13.5 percent with tbas and community health workers diagnosing childhood pneumonia and treating with oral cortrimoxazole it dropped to 0.8 percent and the pneumonia mortality rate in the whole area of 158 intervention villages, we, we conducted a control trial subsequently, 58 intervention villages and 40, 48 control villages, two year trial intervention trial and that showed that the pneumonia mortality in the population was reduced by 76 percent and the infant mortality from 120 it came down to 76. This study was published in the Lancet and it became the first controlled field trial which showed significant reduction in pneumonia mortality. Other studies were conducted by WHO at six different places and a joint evaluation by WHO and Johns Hopkins University rated this Gurdjieff study as the best one. And in 1993, when global ARI control program was designed in a conference called ICARI, the Gadichuli study and six other studies by WHO became the cornerstone based on that the global ARI management strategy was decided. 